Hey there. Today we have a little game fisher 9.9. .9. We are just gonna do a quick look over on this baby. Pretty rough, obviously. And I'm outside right now, outside my house, so you can obviously hear everybody's dogs and whatnot. And traffic. <clears throat> but anyways, this is what's under the hood. Uh, this is just quick. Next video I will be... Right now the recoil does not... Doesn't work. See if I pull it. It feels pretty good. I mean, there's there's some resistance here. Yeah. So obviously I can't I can't do it very well one-handed, but you see the recoil doesn't work at all. So I what I can do is spin it back like that. It does engage, spins. Like I say, I can't do it with the current setup I have, but. And then this right here, it pulls all the way to that edge. And this looks, it does look bent there to me. So I'm gonna try to bend that out, make that straighter, smoother. Just has what looks like a, like a weed eater type of handle with some paracord, uh, which would work fine. Obviously you can hook around here and pull it. Um, but one of the main problems with this baby is inside here, well, there's a couple problems. But <clears throat> so, I don't know if you can see that. I'll, I'll open it up. But there's the, the little bracket that holds the spring. And then that little screw, which is actually Right there, you can see it pretty good. Uh, it's left-handed uh, threads. So what happened to this is it somehow, let me open that up in just a minute. Set this right here. Hopefully it doesn't fall. Okay, let me hold on to this. I say for today, I'm just just holding the camera, so I'll get a little better set up when I next video is just kind of just showing what I got here but yeah as far as the next video the overall uh, plan for this baby is get it run for springtime we are January 6th here in Georgia it's fairly mild about 60 degrees so in here you can see There's nothing in there, which is disappointing. I thought that. So this will go. I don't know if I need to take that apart anymore. Yeah, I can't really. I can't really do anything from here. But <clears throat> what what I believe happened is this came out at one time. Uh, somebody threaded in a right-handed thread or probably just use any bolt that they could get to grab uh, so it does function but you got to reel it back by hand obviously there's no spring in there because um, also right there you can see the spool from the recoil right there was rubbing against the outside and eventually flew off at some point and that's when I believe they lost the screw 
So I did order one. Um, which is right there. So the next steps are get this working, get the recoil working like it should. Uh, I know I could put the rope up there and all that, but I will get the recoil working and pull it, test. Uh, then I'm gonna start the steps on compression. Let's see what number's on here. Right there. Looks like 380C, 63.15. And I did see... Where did I see? I saw, an, I believe, an E84. That makes any sense? Yeah, right down there it is. Yeah, I got an e, E84. Sorry about the dogs. I mean, there's... Once one barks, they all bark, so what are you gonna do? Um, <clears throat> but here are the uh, throttle mechanism, all this seems, seems fairly smooth. I mean, things look good down here. And right here. I mean, this looks fairly good. Uh, the shift, shift linkage works, uh, it looks like Somebody's been in here, um, probably testing wires to the, the shutoff, um, coils. I know underneath here, it says solid state, and I don't know much about these, that's why. For one, I'm doing this video, maybe somebody can uh, help me out along the way, but I know this ignition part can be pretty tricky and really you can't find very many parts for these um it doesn't seem like anyways compared to like an evan Rude or whatnot uh which have seemingly no matter what you need they have it so let me uh, take another step back and i'm going to show you one more piece that i think will be an interesting oh yeah forget about this so this is broke right here um I don't think there's anything this I don't think it's really beyond it's just broke so I don't know if that's gonna cause like vibration issues or balance issues if it's weight I'm not sure um, my plan was to put like some kind of fin you know like the plastic fin like you'd see on a lot of them um, right over that cover that maybe even you know, I could piece that in and then put the fin on there if I thought it was a, uh, you know, a balance issue or something. <clears throat> but, yeah, let me put this down for one more second and I'll grab my last little piece. So here we are. I uh, got this off eBay. Said it was a Game Fisher 15 horsepower carburetor, which sure does resemble. I kind of did go by the pictures, um, but it does look pretty much the same thing. And see this little nipple here, right there. On this one, this fuel line was so stiff that that nipple came out at one time. So my other thought was, well, maybe I could use this piece right there instead, if that led to more problems later. Um, if not, my, my other sort of uh, maybe goal is rebuild both these carburetors um for one use whichever one works seems to work the best uh and two possibly put the 15 on there and see what happens let's see if i can get a shot of the front say so i'm pretty sure they're, they're gonna, it's gonna mount up and it's the same thing 
So let's see. Yeah, so see there, it, it looks like, I don't have like anything to measure this right with me, but it looks like that is the same as the, that complete diameter right there. Just looking at it. And the other one's a lot smaller. I can grab some, uh, well, I'm gonna grab something simple to do it, like a pencil. I'm not gonna actually measure it. Just a second. Okay, hopefully you're still there. So here, you can see the throat or the opening on this thing right there. And then I'm pretty sure this is most of the difference on these. That's, let me mark it here. That's the difference. Everything else does look very similar. It's painted the same color as the block. Um, I'm pretty sure that's it. So, anyways, if you want to follow along, this will be my, I need a new, I got to find the spring. Um, I was into this at least a year ago, um, and it's really just been sitting on the stand in the back corner of the garage ever since, uh, and found out. You know, that's when I saw that it looks like somebody just threaded this in just to hold it. Um, but eventually it works itself loose. Uh, so, I think I have the spring. If not, I'm going to uh, either harvest it from something else just to get me by. Or I will order one. But it's like anything, that's... It's probably going to cost me $10 just to get the little spring, and I could probably use uh, just about any one. But anyways, next video will be compression. We'll check for spark, and hopefully the, the recoil is working. If I have to order something, I'll probably move on to the next video and just simply go with compression. And I don't have a manual for this. I mean, I actually, I think I do. Can't find it right now. Um, so maybe when I post those, if somebody knows what I should be shooting for. I mean, my main goal is that they're, they're similar, top and bottom. And if they're similar, it's probably gonna at least run. Uh, but I don't know what exactly I'm looking for. But anyways, and then this is a tricky this is a little different than a lot of them, so I may just bypass that and just run my hose from my tank for now, just to, because that, you gotta, same thing. I mean, I might buy the correct one, but I may also change that to a more of a universal type that I already have. But, <clears throat> anyways, until next time, if you wanna follow along, hopefully this baby will be on a John boat come uh, springtime. All right, see ya.